in this video we will discuss about the concept of this pointer in c++ so first of all what is this pointer this pointer is a hidden pointer which can assess the object in c++ program with its address and it is done by using this keyword as it is an implicit argument that can be passed to all the member function for referring to the invoking object except the friend function as their non member function of a class we can define this in c++ as a pointer that is passed as an argument to non static member function where to assess the object having a single copy of the member function then the compiler provides this hidden pointer implicitly by using this keyword followed by the function name because static member function does not use this pointer now the question is where we use this pointer this pointer is used when the data member and the local variable of the member function have the same name then the compiler will be in ambiguity until and unless we use this pointer because if we want to assign some value of a local variable to the data member then this cannot be done without using this pointer let us see the code for this pointer first of all we have a class abc an abc class having two data members int a and char ch and the data member are private by default and class having one public member function void get and public member function having two local variable having the same name as data member name like int a and char ch now where we use this pointer when the data member and the local variable of the member function having the same name then use this pointer now how to use this pointer this keyword then arrow operator the name of the data member is equal to name of the local variable then semicolon this pointer arrow operator name of the data member is equal to name of the local variable class having a put function that display the value of put function display the value of a and ch class body and with the closing curly braces and semicolon now inside the main function create the object of class name of the class abc is the name of the class and a1 is the name of the object now a1 dot get with the help of object which is followed by dot operator we can assess the member function of a class a1 dot member function name get function having two parameter the first parameter is of integer type and second parameter is of character type then after that we have to call the put function to display the value a1 dot put now run this code now after the execution of this code the output is value of a is 10 and value of ch is a if we remove this keyword then there is no output garbage value is to be printed onto the screen 
if we want to assign the local variable value to the data member then you would not be able to do until unless we use this pointer because the compiler would not know that we are referring to objects data member unless you use this pointer this is the first use of this pointer when we use this pointer when the data member and the local variable of a member function having the same name there is one important point we cannot use this pointer with static member of a class now after the execution of this code there will be error this is unavailable for static member function we can use this pointer only with the non static members of a class the another use of this pointer is to return the reference of current object so that we can chain functions call this way we can call all the functions for the current object in one go let's see the code function chaining call using this pointer first of all we have a class abc and class having two data members now we have to return the reference then the return type is class name ampersand name of the member function name of the member function is get a now in this case function return reference then one more member function is there to get ch In this arrow operator name of the data member and name of the local variable then the return reference then we have a put function that display the value of a and ch now inside the main function name of the object dot operator then name of the first member function get a then pass the value dot second member function get ch pass the value then semicolon now after that call the put function to display the value now run this code after the execution of this code the value of a is 11 and value of ch is b now in this case this pointer is to return the reference of current object right so that we can chain function call this way we can call all the function for current object in one go there is one important note in this program i have increment the value of objects a in this second function and we can see in the output that is actually incremented the value that we have set in the first function call 
put function this show that the chaining is sequential and the changes made to the object's data members retain for further chaining this is all about the use of this pointer in c++ 